in the interest of fairness, I need to talk about the things that the church did pay for. Let's see. They paid for nearly all of my counseling with uh, LDS Family Services, except for um, some that my one of my counselors did pro bono because I couldn't afford it. On occasion, the church has covered utility bills. But again, it came with the whole process of coming with your hat in your hands, begging Bishop like he was your daddy, and then having them decide if you were worthy, going through your bills, going through all your finances, and deciding for themselves if you were going to be granted the golden ticket. There were a couple of food boxes when they came with a food donation around the holidays, which we were surprised to receive because there were other people more poor in our church unit. And there have been Christmases where we got gifts. Um, a lot of them came from the dollar store. A lot of them had clearance stickers still on them. But it was something, right? Better than nothing. Um, we've received off-cast furniture. Uh, off-cast clothes from members themselves. Uh, what else? When I was trying to leave the domestic violence shelter where I had been living and go to college. Um, three guys from my branch said that they would move me, help me. So we loaded up all my stuff and then when everything was loaded they informed me that uh, I needed to pay their gas money. So that was free. And in the process I had a grandfather clock that was broken. It went down the steps. And so one of my helpers got a free grandfather clock he said he was going to fix up because I couldn't afford to fix it. So yeah, we've gotten uh, move-in help from Elders Quorum Presidencies in the many moves that we've done. Much appreciated. And we have also given the same service when people have moved into our wards and branches. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, like when I was primary president, I bought materials, but that, you know, that was reimbursed usually was approved. It again depends on the bishop. I had one bishop that was incredible. He supplied a whole nursery with new stuff because the whole place was like 25 year old toys. But other bishops didn't give a shit about nursery. So again, it's Bishop Roulette. And if you think you're going to be taken care of, I actually had a branch president tell me that when the tent cities came up and the trucks were moving out, I'd better be attending church. And even then, maybe we wouldn't be told because he didn't particularly like me. Have a good day. The one you deserve.